slap, are you? Australian legends. Hey! Sir, can you knock? What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI. We are going to watch Runaway Jury from... What year is this from? 2003. This stars not Julia Roberts. Uh, if, if you saw my reaction to um, Shall We Dance, I did a whole intro talking about Julia Roberts because I thought she was in the movie and then she wasn't in the movie. No Julia Roberts in this one. Rachel Weiss is in this. The only movie of hers that I've watched so far is Agora. And... Uh, it was a lot. It was a pretty intense movie, and uh, I, I, just judging by the thumbnail, which I can see who's, like, in it, um, I think this is gonna be a serious movie. So, I'm, I've got my serious pants on, close enough, and I'm ready for a gritty courtroom drama. So, if you do want early access to this, by the way, patreon.com slash FWCI is where you can get it for $5 readers a month, as well as early access to all my other movie and TV show reactions. So, $5 readers a month, that's where it's at. Have watched a jury-related thing on the channel. It was a TV show called Jury Duty. Um, it was a weird reality show. There was a guy who thought he had applied to be a part of a documentary about the US judicial system and it turns out he was the only one who wasn't aware of what's going on in the, the case. All the jurors, everything is completely scripted. It's like a big reality show prank experiment kind of thing. James Marsden is in it playing himself and uh, if you haven't seen that show, I can't recommend it enough. It was so random, it was on like Amazon Prime or something, but it is absolutely insane. And then go watch my reaction. I did the whole season. It's like eight, uh, eight episodes or something like that. I did the entire season because I just could not stop watching it once I started. I've never been on a jury. My partner is dying to be on a jury, but uh, alas, she has not been selected as yet. So let's jump into this movie and find out what it's all about. This is Runaway Jury. Ah, Runaway Jury. The jury runs away. They decide in the middle of the case, nah, we can't come to a decision and then they just bail. I'm guessing this is probably some kind of like legal terminology. Like a hung jury doesn't mean you got a bunch of large penis men making decisions, it means they can't come up with a unanimous thing. I don't know who this guy is, but I feel like he's in like Days of Our Lives or The O.C. or some kind of like um, very um, soap opera-y kind of show. I know Hackman, I know Hoffman, and I know Weiss, and I know Cusack. I wonder if he's still possessed by the devil. By the way, I... I don't care what people say, I'm sticking to my own um, version of events with... What's that movie? 1408? I think he was possessed by the devil at the end and he took the devil out of the room and that's why he looks at his wife like... At the very end. I have to sing it for him tonight at bedtime and I can't think for the life of me oh what God. it is. You're a terrible father. Whoa. Yo, that's a lot of shots going on there. Get down, lady. Get the fuck down. What? Get behind the desk and stay there. Oh, Not how I was expecting this movie to kick off. Holy shit. God! Could you sit? They put me on hold. Hold. Oh, God. Ah! Whoa. All right. Who was that guy though? Bald head. Was it Hackman? Two years later. Good morning, Mr. Pulaski. It's our ghost investigator. Oh, so Cusack is on the jury. Christmas comes a little early this year. Sarcastic? Oh, wait. They know he's on the jury. These guys are trying to, like, corrupt him or whatever. Or are they just the press being the press? She's Cajun. I told her that you wanted the St. Nicholas candle, right? Is that what you wanted? Yeah, that's the one I was pointing to. C'est bon de voir encore. Everywhere, Dad. Now, what, what happened right there? What, what, what did she say? She said, you're a nice-looking boy, but she doesn't trust you. <laughs> He's the patron saint of unmarried women and jurors. Really? Really? That's not what the candle really is, is it? That interaction was a little bit 
goofy to me. Unless these two already know each other. Something off about that. Oh. Oh, Hackman is um, not nice in this, is he? But you're feeling guilty about that. You've checked out a few of them and uh, doesn't feel like the Christian thing to do. Better an unhappy <laughs> mother than an unfriendly wife. What the hell's going on here, Hackman? Are you Sherlock Holmes? What's going on here? Who is this? Who is that? I know that guy. I don't know where from. Philadelphia. I want to thank you for agreeing to meet with me, sir. Thank I just you. want you to guess how many phone calls and letters I get from expert jury consultants such as yourself. I can imagine. Right, that's right, because the lawyers get to be a part of the uh, process to pick the jury. Is the striped? Non striped. Non striped. I would go, uh, we'll go, we'll go with the striped one, sir. That yes. is your jacket. Right, and you have a striped yeah. one because you're from yeah. New York City. Philadelphia, sir. I think we're going to go with the non striped one, Phyllis. You know. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Defense has retained Rankin Fitch as their lead jury consultant. Rankin Fitch? You, you don't know. I know who he is. Mr. Fitch? Oh, that's Fitch. Let's see what time Reigns can be here. Yes, sir. Mr. Fitch? Okay, Reigns and Fitch versus Hoffman and uh, Jeremy Piven? is predisposed in his favor by using video surveillance, wiretax, site profiles. That sounds a little bit underhanded though. Doing all that surveillance to select jury, that seems a bit fucked. We love fat women, people. <laughs> They're tight-fisted, unsympathetic. I want her on my jury. Ladies and gentlemen, let's find 11 more jurors and three- Wow, this is some shit right here. Just minimizing people down to like, tiny details about their assumptions, I guess, about their whole being. Because I believe in this, I, I believe in this case. Why? I, I believe in a world without guns. No, he's got an issue with uh, Hackman. Is it his son, maybe? Strictly probationary status. You don't want to check out my resume? I already did. It's impressive. All right, he's a couple of steps ahead as well. This is going to be a battle of fierce, Cerebral aficionados? No, that's not the word. The sex change. You leave yeah, because calm. you're becoming a woman. <laughs> yeah. You go to goat farm. So this obviously does happen. All the jurors get together to talk about how they can get out of it. <laughs> Have you been convicted of a felony? No. You should commit a felony. Just commit a crime. Don't go commit any felonies. Uh, uh, there was an eye patch guy. That is dodge as. His spidey senses should be tingling, Cusack. Oh, hello. Smooth, Maxine. Tell you what, it's easier to find an honest... Wow, so I think that's Rachel Weisz we saw at the start. She's a plant to try and trick him. Not trick him, but surveil him. I think Frank Herrera would make an excellent jury foreman, don't you, Mr. Cable? Well, I'm only lead counsel for the defense, Mr. Senator Kelly, what are you doing here? Esplanade Mall. Reason sure. Oh, he's gonna love this. Yeah. Now, watch me hit this lady in the head. This is your job? <laughs> He works at Game Traders? Where's he from? Moved here eight months ago. Trails of gold. This drop. They're looking for somebody to hold up a jury or something? I don't know. Not a bad way to go through life, making everybody happy. But in court, it's not that simple. Somebody always loses. Just not me. <laughs> Hackman, you are intense in this movie. Questioning potential jurors yes. today. And gun industry has never lost. So it's the firearms versus the victims? The surviving, the families of the victims? Wow, so Hackman's not even like on the um, like on the legal team. He's just involved, <laughs> and then he gets to sit back in the galley and watch. What do you want us to do? I'm sure we could think of something. All right. Oh, Lydia, keep your hands to yourself. This suit is brought by the plaintiff. Mm, I reckon that's they're related or something. That's correct. I don't, I don't feel one way or another about guns, but I sure hate it. It seems like a big operation for like civil legal matters. What else you got? She had an abortion two years ago. And, and, and. And the guy holding her hand at the clinic? Not the Baptist minister. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I smell blackmail on the horizon. I like her. She's gonna be fair and sympathetic to this one. Mr. Roar. Oh no, 
Evan, what are you doing? Shot so is a juror. We accept Adam Ms. Dietz as a juror. Philip Savelle. We accept Having an AK-47 overstates the case. I want her. Yes, I want her. Objection. Wow, why, so why is Hoffman being so flippant about who's on his jury? But he's definitely on our side of the fence. It's a veneer. He's campaigning. He wants on. Bouncing cable. Go ahead and bounce. Hold on. Hear me out. Thank you, Mr. Duncan. You excused? No, I want to be heard. Mr. Duncan, you may be excused. I want to be heard! Oh, whoa. This is the blood of innocent children oh, cut down by greedy corporations! Wow. So, were people actually doing this in 2003? Or did they just predict, like... 2020. Let me Yikes, that was awkward. I guess that's lunch. <laughs> Alright, Kusak, calm down with your jokes there, buddy. So this feels like it's gonna be a movie just about filthy legal tactics. But we think twenty million dollars ought to be enough to secure a jury in the People's Republic of Berkeley, California, let alone here. How about thirty thousand? <laughs> Well, the number of men, women, and children who are disabled by your gentleman's products last year alone. All right, Hackman. Making some points here. Firearms and ammo every fiscal year. Two billion dollars. Woo! Where I come from, that's a lot of money. <laughs> Ernie Strode. I'm going to put you gentlemen in the grocery business. Grocery business. We're in the process of acquiring your store. Meeting with all the store managers to this. This is dodgy as. They better cover their tracks pretty good because this looks sus. Just like in Cincinnati and Oakland and Pittsburgh. Gentlemen, trials are too important to be left up to juries. <laughs> all right. Interesting take. Is there a Herman Grimes in the court? Mr. Grimes not on my list. Your Honor. Yeah, Herman Grimes. Who is Grimes? Where is Grimey? Oh, oh, he's a sight restricted grimy. The Louisiana Supreme Court has held that it is a violation of constitutional due process to just automatically dismiss the visual he's impact. <laughs> he's not wrong. Holy shit. Why are you smiling, sir? <laughs> Plainers would welcome Mr. Grimes to our jury, Your Honor. Our jury. Mr. Cable? That bothered him, that line. <laughs> right across the street from the sheriff's office in Jefferson Parish. Yes, I'm, I'm familiar where it is. Well, I mean, you have to be on crack to try to rob him. I guess that's my point. I see. There's a lot of crack out there, Cusack. Be inclined to excuse me. For Your situation, Mr. Easter? It's the uh, Madden challenge. <laughs> Judge, can you please excuse the man? Every year they choose the best 15 players from across the country. Oh, he's in a top 15 Madden tournament? All right, Hackman, help him get to the top of the Madden tournament and the jury's yours. What's in his pocket watch though? I didn't catch it. And now that we've got this blind guy on the thing, like we've got a whole wild card, bitches. Yoga teacher, Philip Seville, shrimp fisherman, Henry Vu. Henry Wu, by like scientist, genetic code making dinosaurs. That Henry Wu. What are you gonna do? Call the cops? Hmm? How do these two know each other? I knew there was something going on with them. Juror number nine, the biggest case of the year. You're kidding, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. No, I'm not kidding you. So he wanted to be on there. Come on, Kusak. Madden challenge. <laughs> he doesn't really like Madden. Now I feel lied to. Huh. Interesting. So these two are like a super intelligent power couple. They're three steps ahead of all the people that are already three steps ahead of everybody else. This is how I'm reading this. Forgiveness, forgiveness has never meant a damn. Damn, man. Are you kidding me? So what's their skin in this game. How do I look? Handsome. <gasps> Are they the same but for the opposite team? But not really because Hoffman has no idea it's happening? Like, are they the, when I say the same, I mean like, are they the same like, they're trying to influence the jury kind of thing? So, <laughs> it's this huge case and everybody is trying to 
influence the jury in their own separate ways. Yikes. Including Dustin Hoffman, who's just trying to do it by the letter of the law. <laughs> where he worked two years ago by a failed day trader who later turned the gun on himself. Oh, that's what it was? Christ. There's coffee and donuts over there. Hey. Now these muffins are made of myself. Hey. Treat for the first date. Oh, really? They're not good. I think we should elect a jury foreman, like Judge Harkin instructed us. And who would that be, Mr. Man? <laughs> I served my country in Panama, Grenada, Beirut, you name it. I, I was there. Six minute mile. Well, Wow. Nobody gives a shit about his military past. I'm the mother of two small children. In that case, y'all ought to consider me. Hell, I got three kids. <laughs> Herman had the guts to stand up to the judge, and only Herman seems to know a little something about the law. Okay. Grimy it is. But he's, but he's blind, blind, man. So what? So it's justice, right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kusak, you better be nice to Herman throughout this movie. You better not exploit him and use him. Did I get any votes? Hey, it's unanimous. You're in. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool as well. Court's in session. Lunch is set for one o'clock. Yeah, Herman actually wanted to be on this jury. Now, they never had a chance. This was all in less than two minutes. They couldn't stop him. Eleven lives ended. So he got fired and then came back the next week. The, the typical situation. Make it so easy to buy these guns on the underground market because they care more about making money. The underground than... market? They're dealing them on the underground market? Because that is very dodge. One that turned the Excuse me, would you please give these to Mr. Warren, Mr. Capone? Yes, it was Mr. Peltier that squeezed the trigger that awful Monday morning. But it was the Vicksburg Firearms Company. Okay. Mr. Cable? I don't think you're allowed to do this in the middle of a trial though <laughs> by the way there better not be like surprise evidence at any point because that's one thing that happens in legal movies that just drives me up the wall because that's you can't just do that <laughs> guns are dangerous they're guns this is their function and i want to tell you today that no one is more aware of it oh because kusak is on the inside why mr cable is winding up well, ladies and gentlemen, see your action figure there, buddy. What was that? Bring that up again. Would you mind holding this jury's lunch order till then? Thank you. So now we just try to get the jury hangry. Is that what's happening? Would you mind not doing that in here? I'm predisposed to asthma. <laughs> Come on, I'll open the window. It ain't gonna bother you. Wow, this is 2003, and you're still allowed to just light up inside a government building. Can't leave the room? What is this, California? It is against the rules. Oh, man, be quiet. That's right, it was California brought it in first, didn't they? No, New York, I thought. Be here no, for a while together. together. So why are you oh. Okay, okay. Irma, you want me to go check out what's going on with lunch? Good idea, Nick. Go see what's taking on. Oh, Nick is playing this whole jury like puppets. Uh, excuse me, Judge. Huh? There's someone to see you. All right. <laughs> I'm going to interrupt the judge's lunch to be like, hey, we haven't got our lunch, bro. What's going on? Well, what exactly, Mr. Easter, would you like me to do? Hey, Lonnie, Lonnie, can you pass me some garlic bread you got any over there? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Kusak, you grifter. You just grifted a judge. Yeah, get into that Bloody Mary, lady. Oh, Herrera. He's noticing shit too. You got a little muster on your time. Yeah, I did it on purpose. <laughs> He's so relatable with his mustard stains. It wasn't me, it wasn't me, it was Judge Harkin. Let's help. <laughs> Judge Harkin. And now this is buttering up the judge as well. He would have loved that. Oh my God, that was perfect. That was a great plan. Throw our focus off so that we can just move toward a this trial. But I'd really like it out of the office, so give it to me, please. Then this is just an auction, and I might as well get on this phone here and call up all those anti-gun activist friends of mine in Washington and tell them we're just going to put on a telethon and we will buy this verdict. <sighs> He's determined and very... Um noble and uh 
you know, stands up for what he believes in. You can call me Marley. Payphone, 15 miles away. You can call me Marley. Where are we going with this, Marley? All the way to the verdict. The fact is, the jury's mine. And I can push it either way, for a price. Oh, wow. So now she's making them both feel like the other one can just take the offer. For now, I just hope you're feeling patriotic. You hope I'm feeling patriotic. Yeah, what the fuck does that mean? What are you on, Weiss? That was mostly it, but I know much real action down there anyhow. Right. Actually, there he was. Right? Pretty, <laughs> pretty snippy. My friend's name was Donnie Rabs, and his helicopter was shot down in the Kuwaiti oil field. He was killed 12 years ago today. <laughs> you, did you have to add the today in? Listen, I don't know if it would be inappropriate, but do you think we could do something today to remember him? Yeah, that would be inappropriate, man. <laughs> Can you just do like a couple of seconds of silence for him or something? I pledge allegiance to the flag. Nick, what are you doing? And to the for which it stands. So this isn't against any rules. This is just a big dick flex of like, hey, look how um, patriotic we are. <gasps> oh, wait. Get it. I get it. I get it. Fuck. Damn, this is a good scam. You better be feeling patriotic. That doesn't mean they can hand us the verdict. Ah, well, you see, Mr. Fitch, this is where I can get a little confused because I was under the impression that we had already purchased ourselves a verdict. <laughs> right there. That doesn't mean that's anything. Me. Nicholas Easter, our song and dance man, has an agenda. Wow, Hackman, you jump to that conclusion, but that's fine. I'm here for the ride. Didn't you ever wonder who your friend Mikey was turning around and selling these guns to? Well, that's none of my business. Oh, you mean it's not your problem? No. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's testifying. Sustain, Mr. Roar. <laughs> Objection and sh schmection. And why do I feel like Grimy isn't blind at all? That were being sold to one man instead, send you and your wife on a trip to Jamaica. No. Oh. We switched to Cancun. <laughs> I have no further questions, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Roar. So they went to Cancun instead. That's Dodge. Super Dodge. So now what? They're trying to get Cusack's DNA and find out all his shit? Yeah, the, the landlord let me in. He said some of the tenants been having trouble with the cable. Uh -huh. But uh, I checked yours out and... Uh... Yo! Get him, get him. You can get this guy. <laughs> Seeing this chase scene through the streets of New Orleans just makes me want to play Red Dead Redemption again. Number two, Insanity. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking annihilated those people. I can't believe this prick here managed to get away. Whoa! Kusak with the double back! Ah! Whew, that was a good little scene there. Empty, but it's not zeroed out. He may have been more sloppy than he thought. Give me a few moments. Mr. Oh, Fitch? No, he's left something, some red herring there for you to waste your time on. I'm bumping a juror. One of yours. This time's just gonna be a pinprick. Next time it's really gonna hurt. Oh my god, they are just so far ahead of these really, really capable people. I'm loving this. I think I can do a little bit better than an asp. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Larry the dog. Yeah, good work, good work. Jesus. You still trying to get off my jury, is that it? It's even more difficult to believe this is your liquor. I might be wrong, but I don't think that's your shade of lipstick. <laughs> He's so friggin' smart. 
Oh, Lydia is in now. Now find something on every one of them. Pull her files. Review every word, every photo, every medical record. Do it! Hackman. Cranky boy. Your husband looks a lot different than your boyfriend with you at the clinic. We'll be in touch. Ooh. Ooh. Unbeknownst to his mother, his employer, his church, and his friends, Mr. Weiss is HIV positive. <sighs> Really? Hey! Billy Dupree married 18 years to Hoppy Dupree. Wow, they've all got shit going on. Mr. Kincaid, you want to tell the court just a little bit about... What about Grimes, though? What's his baggage? He has none. Now, to your knowledge, was Vicksburg Firearms aware that you were out there reselling their product? No, not to my knowledge. That was a long fucking pause there, man. He flipped on us. <laughs> that tiny bit of eye contact is all it took. That's what you should have snagged. Doyle, you're going back in. Why did he take a photo of that? <laughs> it's very weird. And then save it on his computer? Uh, that seems like a very dumb thing for Nick to do. So maybe it was all a ruse. It is going to be a ruse. There's going to be nothing on the um, iPod. Is that what it was? <laughs> Whoa. What's going on over there? Kevin, what are you doing? What is that covert baseball cap you're wearing? <laughs> Congratulate. I hope you boys are happy with yourself because I don't think there's anything on there. Let's go! Janovich, you don't have to do this. Whoa. Uh, this is a built like a apartment building, man. Oh no, what is going on with Ricky? She's just shit faced drunk, passed out in the on the floor in the toilet? That's too much Call 911 now! Okay, okay. Oh. Oh. I don't think Ricky was in a good place. Please don't tell me there was information on that hard drive or whatever the hell it was. He torched my place tonight. Well, at least we know we have him motivated. Oh. Here's the fun part. They got the MP3 player. <laughs> MP3 player. Okay, it's on the MP3 player, everyone. But there's only so much I can do, all right? It's not just them that I worry about. Yeah, what is the relationship with these two? Just lovers? They're, they're a couple. Yeah, that's right. They were having, like, angry sex at the start. Happy angry sex. <laughs> Oh, hi. Landlord let me in. A lot of people have been complaining about their cable, but, you know, I checked your... Oh, so now this is all known? Uh-oh. No, Mr. Cable, there's not going to be a mistrial here. Motion denied. Not because of maneuvers like this. Yeah, it could work. Our jury is to be sequestered. Bailiff, would you please inform... <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Set fire to his place last night. How would you know that? Because I was there. <laughs> Hoffman's like, come on, man, leave it alone. So right. why hasn't the defense told the judge about Nick Easter? Because the postcard is for realsies. I see you and Mr. Easter are keeping busy, busy, busy. Palace Cafe on Canal Street, downstairs, main dining room, 15 minutes. All right, here we go. What's going on with the color of her hair? <laughs> oh, please have a seat. Molly never said she was going to be there. Makes them harder to read. Uh-oh, what did you just do? <laughs> She's all over it. Although, I never go to a second location. What's your price? 10 million. It's made out to cash. 
$500,000. I wouldn't drop off your dry cleaning for that. Nick Easter can deliver them. He's very persuasive. You're such a good hustler. Mm, you're a good arsonist. We <laughs> good line. Good line. Wow. Everyone is just squeezing everyone for money. Or the verdict, I guess, in this. Ready to pony up the ten. Email me at this address. It's a free account. Untraceable. But then I'm sure you already knew that. The old untraceable email address. I love it. Then look, somebody got to that girl. Oh, no, that's whole come on. Why would anyone want to get to her? The same reason they want to get to any of us. To influence the outcome of the trial. Mm. So now we're sequestered. We'll talk about it in the morning. Thanks. Good night. Good night. But Nick has been pretty compassionate in certain cases. I'm fine, Frank. How are you? I don't like my hand being forced. You understand? Uh, what are you trying to say here, man? Be direct. Get some sleep, Frank. Yeah, you fucking alcoholic. <clears throat> oh, that's not good. I know you're playing both sides. We are. May I sit down? Yeah, go on, sit down, sit down. Roar is good though. He's got, I think he's a lot more clued in than he appears to be on the surface. Lady, she's not in it for the money. What are you in it for, Mr. Roar? I like to get the law changed. That's why you're here. But you need help. Ah, oh, goddamn, that's a good argument. <laughs> Get to him. To He's your star we did, we witness. Listen, if he hasn't listen, already, no, you don't, don't know what this sweetheart. is. Sweetheart! Hey, hey, of hey! Oh, I didn't see that coming. Anyone can be gotten to. That sounds evil. With rank and fitch in the game, you can't win. So if you just match his offer, I'm gonna swing it your way. Goodbye. Mm, easy there, Hoffman. Who hurt you? <laughs> I'll be on the first flight out to Cincinnati. Let's see if Mr. Lancaster has left any loose ends behind. Everybody's got a dirty little secret. Let's find out what his is. I just realized that's Nick. Barry, where the hell? He's in this room an hour. No, I know that. I know that. Then where is it? I thought you had someone big. By the way, what kind of bullshit fake name is Nick Easter? Although, I did used to know somebody whose last name was Christmas, so. Your Honor, this is my key witness. Well, then you should have kept a tighter leash on him. Tighter. Your Honor, it will be highly prejudicial to my client if we are not permitted just to... I will take that a... as a motion for reconsideration. Your Honor. Denied. Bam! All right, Judge. We all cheered for you in the restaurant. If so, Mr. Rohr, then plaintiff rests. Thank you, gentlemen. And the judge doesn't find this suspicious that the key witness just doesn't show up on the day? I mean, I know sometimes people might have a change of heart, but... Dodge, 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 all dodge. Nice suit. Very, um, of the people. Yours is nicer. What would you call it? Gun lobby protecting its own? Oh, slank shoes. Big tobacco? <laughs> you messing with my client, my case, and the rules of law that govern our country. Hackman doesn't give a shit about those laws. With your blatant disregard for the people's right to bear arms, you know, the Second Amendment. Is that why you're doing this? Protect Constitution, is that? Of course not. <laughs> At least he's honest. Go home and sit in his barca lounge here and let the cable TV wash over him. And this man doesn't give out a single solitary droplet of shit about truth, justice, or your American way. I don't know. I think Hackman is underestimating pretty hard. And that the heel that she snaps on the way to the graveside belongs to a $1,200 shoe. You get your name in the paper. That is brutal. You're gonna lose? I doubt it. Well, maybe not this case, maybe not the next, but someday. You know, someday. I've seen it before. I mean, it's 20 years later and we're still waiting, it feels like. I don't give a shit. What's more, I never have. God, he is just the worst, isn't he? This character, honestly, is pretty um, 
eerily accurate. Especially now with a lot of stuff that we've known about people and things that have come out like, ugh. Good acting by Hackman, but oof, his character is a fucking real piece of shit. Emergency reserve? Yeah. In what amount? Ten million. <gasps> but the thing that sucks about this is even if they do win, it's then gonna, like, completely negate everything else that's going on. No, that's not what I mean. If they do win, it's gonna make it questionable. Like, oh, well, is that really what the jury would have voted? Your Frank feeling at Bloomington University. Mm -hmm. This guy's the worst henchman ever. He didn't write it, but as long as it stands, we're gonna continue to operate under its protections. Thank you, sir. Nothing further. Blech. <laughs> Also available in a print-resistant finish. I see. Now, who in your mind, sir? A print-resistant finish? What the hell? Fingerprints are 90% water. Water corrodes metal, metal rust. <laughs> no, I didn't write the copy for that advertisement, sir. I think you know that. Did you see it? Objection. Prejudicial. Sustained, Mr. Roar. <clears throat> My apologies, Your Honor. He's getting all of his objections sustained as well. I think Roar is doing it on purpose, though. Farmers or weekend sports home protection or disgruntled day traders oh, like you're you know, your we sell. <laughs> <laughs> you are going to be performing 990 Roar. with the print resistant finish is not your problem. I the oh. Second Amendment, God damn it! <laughs> the Second Amendment, God damn it! Nice wording there, bro. bro. Look, we've got damage control strategies in your testimony. <laughs> I bet you do. We're about to change yeah. on it. You just be a little more careful. The less mass. <laughs> you know, that just tore Hackman's heart out hearing that because he knows it's true. How about his pal, Jeffrey Kerr? Now we meet her, there's no deal. Non negotiable. What's it going to be? Oh, the wall's caving in. That's what he said. Turn around, Rachel Weiss. Oh, it's the arsonist, isn't it? I made a sandwich. Nice transition. Marley, please come out of the kitchen. I'm not here to hurt you. Please, sweetheart, sit down. Relax. Uh, I don't know about this. I mean, is there even such a thing as an objective jury, Mr. Fitch? Not if I can help. Then why should the lawyers and guys like you make all the profit? You don't have much faith in the law. I'm agnostic. <laughs> Come on out here. Let's sit down and talk. I'll make you a sandwich. <laughs> oh, dude. Good fucking work. Ah, damn it. Man, neighbors in New Orleans really keep to themselves, don't they? Yeah, get in there. Get in those eyeballs. Oh, nice work. That one wasn't too bad. Although the easel did smash, but... Herrera, I wouldn't worry about him. Are you going to swing this my way? Yeah, Herrera did just sort of go along with voting um, Grimes as the foreman. Obviously, I uh, underestimated you. And as a rule, I don't do that. Make damn sure. You don't underestimate me. Ominous. I have a feeling after tonight, we're going to be fast friends. Oh, yeah, because he's got his henchmen there beating the hell out of um, Rachel Weiss. Bet you didn't expect to hear from me so soon. Ooh. Wow. He won't be coming home tonight. At least he won't be walking home. Oh, nice work. <gasps> How much now? 20? 15 million, non negotiable. Should have gone 20. Think of the flood of all the bad press and people getting all their greedy money on your. They, getting all their greedy hands on your gun money. Huh? That's in your future if you don't pony up the 20 mil. 15, but. I don't know who's going to win this. This movie, I, I feel like it could have like a really tragic ending. It could be the day that they finally get this case. And be Celeste would get sent to prison or something. I don't know. 
Yeah, who's in your thing? Somebody who got killed with a gun. Oh, is it his actual friend? Was that the truth? His friend who went away to, like, serve in the military. With your verdict, you may for the first time make gun violence the gun industry's problem. Oh, this is so goddamn depressing. There was a mass shooting just the other day. I mean, Fitch's paid the money, but... So did... Oh my god. So did um, Dustin Hoffman. He asked for the extra 10 mil. Did they just double dip? And they're going to go with Hoffman? Gabby got her undergraduate degree. He dropped out and they left. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say Gabby? Gabrielle Brand. Oh, that's not good. Backwater town in central Indiana. But I think I got a good lead on the girl. Well, move it along. The judge is about to give this thing to the jury. Ladies and gentlemen. What is he going to find in this short period of time? After 35 years of doing this, you know, I think it's more important that I can rest my head on the pillow at night. <sighs> oh, Dustin. Because you're giving it to Fitch. I'm giving it to Fitch. I'm going to take my chances. Oh, are they going to back out and be like, democracy and justice will prevail? What next? Have a heart attack? Sue McDonald's? Sue my grocery store? Because you went in there and Go bought some pork chops on. there. Now you got club oh, arteries. Brother, you Guess better. what? Oh, wow. All right, come on, Nick. Work your magic. Well, Mr. Fetch, are we concluding our business today or not? Or is there going to be another juror who's on top of all of them? Grimes. Bet he's not even blind. And he's working for the president. We have a deal. I'm wiring the money. Congratulations, oh, Mr. Fitch. Just in time, Fitch. You just bought another couple of decades of hell for America. All right, paid up the 15 milli. Folks, I'd like to say something. Couldn't be easy. Hey, Frank, let him speak. <laughs> Well, it was bad enough losing Margaret, but it's been so long since I've spoken to Gabby, I just feel like I've lost them both. What are you hiding, lady? Are you in on it? You're not from around here. You wouldn't know about the shooting. Ooh, that explains it. What are you saying? Let him, let him speak. Well, what's the problem here? They made a good product, it worked. Case closed. It's a little more complicated than that, Frank. Frank, whose side are you on? All got problems here, don't we? Yes, All yes. of us, but we don't get paid for it. She suffered. Yeah, I suffered. I worked my ass off 12 years of crummy jobs. It's shit pay. I have never asked anybody for a handout. She's not asking for a handout. That is bullshit. You know it. Oh, so that's the truth of what he thinks. He always thought there was something that he could have done. They both went there. Then that woman out there went, forget her. What about the law? Fuck the law? I don't care. Dude. Uh, an M16 with his morning donut. I'm not giving her a cent. <sighs> that was his whole plan. That was his whole plan. Was that his plan to antagonize Frank? Because he's trying to get them to, uh, you know, side with the gun company. Gardner, Indiana. It's a setup. A setup? Wait, what? Company. Take the network down now. Okay, people, pack it up, tear it down now. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Box all photos. What the fuck happened there? Did I miss something? Town sued the gun manufacturer. Town lost. Town went bankrupt. Fitch worked the case. Oh. Fitch worked the case. Thanks for repeating that, by the way. <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen. What's going on, Grammy? Tell us. The jury finds for the plaintiff, Celeste Wood. The awards. Oh. 
General damages in the amount of $110 million. Oh, shit. Court's adjourned. Wow, wow. So yeah, they double-crossed him. Oh, but doesn't that then make this whole thing still contestable after the fact? Widow who waged war on the entire gun industry. Yeah, she did. No matter what the anti-gun lobbyists say or the NRA says, on this day, in this courtroom, the final word was given by the jury. You right there, Hackman? You look like you're about to have a heart attack. You show up in another case, any case, even a contested parking ticket, this gets faxed to the IRS. And the Justice Department, Federal Board of Judicial Review. Oh, yeah, that's not a good look, but it's to you guys, right? What on earth are you going to do with all that money, huh? $15 million, that changes people. Yeah, well, that's what we're hoping. See, back home, the victims' families could really use that money. Wow, that's it. They're going to rebuild the town with it? Yeah, that's a full circle moment, for sure. You, what do you think? You can just walk away from this? Huh? And I'm betting that the two of you, you can't stop. Because if you did, what would you have? Nothing! Nothing, Hackman says. <laughs> Crazy drunk lunatic in a public bar screaming at people. Oh, yeah, but he's had a bad day. Not as bad as Celeste Wood had. So they're high school sweethearts that went on a vendetta against the gun industry after they got basically screwed out of a decision in their hometown, which crippled the town. That's a hell of a journey. They had some pretty heated interactions, though, I will say. Jazz night. pump, huh? Go back yeah, home. Who we got? Cusack was good. Hackman was good. Hoffman was good. Wise was good. Uh, Jeremy Piven. I feel like you could have cut out his whole character um, from this movie. He, he served as a few little moments where, like, information was getting, like, moved around between characters and stuff like that. But other than that, I feel like he he didn't, he didn't even really need to be in this. Cliff Curtis, Frank Herrera. That guy was obviously from New Zealand because every now and then his um, his accent would definitely bleed through. Right, let's see if there's an after credit scene where bloody Nick goes back to Gardner in Indiana and then he goes mm, to somebody and it's because he's possessed by a demon. Which I still hold on to that as the true ending of... Uh, room 1408. Is that it? Any after credits? That was a really fun movie. Um, I wasn't sure like what whether it was going to be set on something real life, which I'm guessing it definitely is not. But uh, 2003, and they had the whole data breakdown thing, and all these nerds in a little room there, which it looked like just a an overly expensive operation. But I guess for 2003, it was just like that visual display of like, you know, this crazy chaotic whirlwind of research and stuff like that. Cusack was good in this. I've only seen him in like maybe one other thing, 1408, and uh, I thought he was a little bit average. He was much better in this, but there was a lot of twists, a lot of characters, you know, going behind each other's backs and double crosses and history and layers, and everything like that. And it was just a good story where you know, the, the playing field kept changing underneath your feet kind of thing. And throughout the whole thing, the, the way they built the court case and how real it was as well and how much they made the, the jurors just seem like regular people. They did a great job building this world and like building this story as something that was really um, grounded and rooted in reality, even though obviously it's, it's pretty nuts. I enjoyed the twists and turns throughout, even the action in this, some of the, the, the stealth missions we'll call them, uh, people sneaking around were really, really tense. Some really scary characters like the arsonist guy. I wasn't uh, excited for Rachel Weiss's character to see him hanging out in the living room there. So they did a good job. Hackman, I think, is maybe my favorite of the movie because he's such a despicable slimeball asshole. And he just got more and more despicable as the movie went on as well. Like, he just... He never redeemed. He was just a pure villain. And I love a good villain, but the subject matter of this is obviously pretty... Um, it's pretty relevant to 
today. It's it's definitely not something that we're not still dealing with. And in that aspect, this movie is as relevant now as it ever has been. So great movie. I enjoyed all of it. Even Herrera's dodgy half Texas, half um, Kiwi accent. It was good. It was great. Dustin Hoffman's character was very interesting as well. Very capable, very noble. Uh, I wasn't sure if they were going to do like a big you know, turn with him where it turns out that he's got his own stuff going on behind the scenes as well, but they never did, which I think is a great way to frame that character as, you know, the the person who got the outcome is the one person that was playing by the rules and, and doing things right. So, great ending. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this movie. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and patreon.com slash fwci if you want a full-length reaction to this, or uh, early access to other movies and things like that. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, see you in the next video. Peace.